What up everyone? Time for another unboxing. Uh, so thirsty. So good. Alrighty. So we got one up box here. Our tiniest box of the month. Teeny tiny box. So, also our cheapest box of the month. The, this one and Loot Crate are usually the first to come. They're usually right here, right away, but they came after NerdBlock, which is surprising, because NerdBlock comes from Canada. These come from, like, one comes from, like, L.A. I think Loot Crate comes from L.A. It's, uh, anyway, so let's what we see. Let's see what we got in this month's block. First, we got a T-shirt. Big surprise. T-shirt. And we got... The Joker. So correct me if I'm wrong. I think the theme was villains. Let's take a quick peek. Get out of there. Oy. Yes, villain was the theme. Got it right here. Makes sense, so Joker. The only thing I don't like about these shirts is they advertise their company. They put one up box on there. Which is, is fine, because, you know, they're the one that put it out. I guess it's, it's an exclusive shirt, but I'm not trying to promote their company or anything. Like, put it on the tag if you want, but I always think it's weird. It makes it look cheap when they put that logo on there. Like, I can put it anywhere, but on the front, it just makes the box come off as cheap. Like, they're trying to do cheap promotion. But other than that, the shirt was really cool. And it fit decently. It fit okay. It wasn't great. Um, the body fit okay, but it's always the sleeves. They're just like out to here and it looks like I'm wearing a dress on my arms because it flies out to the side like so it's never perfect but it's not that bad maybe I can make it work but it was a cool print though I like the design so that was good next let's see what else we got in here so we got a key topper got a little key topper and it's boo kind of adorable this little boo key topper holding his face nice for your keys I like that Good choice. And then we got a little pocket pop, little mini pop figures, which I like. I like these better than the regular size one. I wish they would do all of them like this because I like setting these up and I don't like have enough room for a full pop figure. So I kind of like the small ones better, me personally. And I kind of wish I'd gotten Batman instead of Harley Quinn, but that's okay. It's still a cool little pop. I like that. That's good. And then. And then we got another whoopee cushion. This is the second whoopee cushion we've gotten in a box this month. I, I guess because of April Fools, I, I'm guessing so, but sure. But it's a it's a decorated one too. It's got the Joker on it, just like it had on the t-shirt, so that's cool. Cool little whoopee cushion. And then we got this, which I couldn't figure out what it was. I had to take it out, and I'm like, what is this? Like, ban I thought it was like a bandana, like something put around your head. Then I realized, it's a wallet. For some reason, they delivered it in flat form. But no, you just got to fold it in half and make a crease, and now it's a wallet. And it's a really cool one, because it's got, it says Gre Legend of Greed. It's got the little dark Zelda on it. It's got a little gem. It's got a holder in there. So, yeah. And it's really good quality, too. It's like... I'm not even sure what to call it, like a, almost like a rubber, but like a, like canvas, it feels like canvas. If canvas had like a light rubber coating over it, so if that helps anyone at all, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it feels like it's made out of canvas, which is good, which is like sturdy, which it seems like it'd be a good wallet. So, so I really like that. I think it looks cool and it's very practical. So yeah, cool little wallet. There you go. And then from here, nothing special. So we got, we got a poster, but they folded it in half, so that's a bummer. So let's get close. Poster, poster, poster. So yeah, so it's a cool poster. I like it, and I like the style of it, but it has a bad crease in there. But this is one of the ones where it's still pretty good quality. Glossy quality, poster paper, but it just has a crease. Oh well. And then we got one cool sticker of Darth Vader. Darth Vader playing card. This is actually a sticker though, which is awesome. I thought this was really cool. I'm going to make a sweet magnet out of it. So cool. And then from there, the card that says everything and our little pin that gets in every box that says the theme. So, 
let's get into a value of this box. My drink. Oh no. Spilled beer all over my angry beavers. Now they're going to be furious beavers. Do I got everything? Okay. Value time. So shirt fit moderately. Had a cool design. I don't like the shameless plug they put on there, but it's still a pretty cool shirt. So I, I'll, I'm gladly going to give that 15 bucks. Um, even though I feel like I've been, I went shopping recently at um, J.C. Penney and got just the most badass shirts there that fit perfectly for 10 bucks all day. So I'm um, getting harder, it's getting harder and harder to give shirts a $15 value when I can get like perfect quality ones for 10. So I may have to push it down to 10 in the future one, but we'll see. Just a side note. And then the little key topper. Where'd you go, you bastard? Where is he? Oh. This little boo key topper. I thought he was great. It's a fun little key topper, and he looks cool. This could easily go for like five, five or six bucks, depending on where you get it. Like, if you would have bought it at like Urban Outfitters when they sold these, they want like ten bucks for them, like nine ninety nine, which is crazy. And then you can go online and find similar ones for like a dollar. But I would put it like five, five or six bucks, no problem. I think that's reasonable. The wallet, the wallet was actually really cool, and it's very practical, and it feels nice. It has a good texture to it and it feels very sturdy, which is a good thing. And I like the picture on it. So this, I could easily see it going for like a good quality wallet, which is easily like 10 to $12. I could easily see this selling for $12.99 at any given store, or maybe at a lower store, maybe like eight to 10 or something like that. But yeah, right around 10 was good quality for that wallet, absolutely. So I thought it was good, good quality. Then the Pop minifigure, five bucks, no argument there. If you're paying more than five, don't. Five bucks. Then... The sticker, a dollar. I only give it that because it was a cool sticker. I think it deserves something, so a dollar for that sticker. And it'll make a fantastic magnet later. Don't you worry. It'll be awesome. And then the whoopee cushion. Um, this would normally be a dollar because you can buy these for a dollar like Party City. But this is a printed one, so this is a specialized one that for like a nerd theme. So I bumped it up to two dollars. Like, no big deal, but I think it's worth that for like a specialty one. That's cool. I, with the Joker on there, I think that's funny. I bumped it up to two. And then the poster. Yeah, again, pretty much no value, but like a dollar or two because it is on. Uh, some nicer poster paper. It's glossy. I like the picture they had on there. They did ruin it by bending it, but whatever. So I still gave it like a dollar or two. Nothing crazy, but I'll give you that for the paper and the ink it costs to print on there. And yeah, that was pretty much it. So, total value on this box was like pretty close to 40 on the high end. On the low end, like 38, there wasn't too much leeway, but yeah, close to 40, which was which was great. Like I think this is was a fantastic box. I think this is one of the better boxes, one up boxes ever put out. That you got well over double of what you paid. Whether you paid 13, 15, or even the people now that pay 18 something, you still got double. You still even the high payers still got double. Everyone got double. Everyone got good products. They had good choices. Like this is a cool wallet and key thing. The mini pop, the sticker was cool. Like I liked everything in here and I think I'm gonna keep it all. Um, I already have the mini Batman so I'll put mini Harley Quinn next to it. Like why not? And I'll hang up the little whoopee cushion because I thought it was funny and make the sticker into a magnet and wear the shirt and blah -dee blah -dee blah. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. High value for so little money like I, I'm really pleased. Uh, um, I don't know how else I can say that. I, I want to give this one a really high rating. I'm um, trying to think like what I want to give this, but I'm thinking like a high one, maybe like an 8 out of 10 or something like that. I don't know if I go that high, but I'm thinking like a high, high number. Like I'm going to have to think about it while I'm posting, but I'm thinking like, like an 8. I was very happy. I, I liked what, what we got. And even though we got a shirt, which took up like half the thing, 
we still got a bunch of other fun little things in here. But here's what I will say. Um, I get kind of bummed out when they want to just um, give a shirt in there because then you get like nothing else. The shirt takes up half the value and then you get nothing else. And the bigger boxes, a shirt's fine because it's a smaller portion. But in my honest opinion, I think 1UP Box should just do away with shirts. Like every once in a while do one, and same with the big pop figures. Just do away with them. Do all small cool stuff. Do all like the key rings, like the mini pops, like the wallets, like the, the stickers, and like the collectible figures, putting like a collectible mystery mini, or like some kid robot stuff, or, or whatever. Like, I don't think they should do shirts anymore. Um, their shirts very rarely ever fit. Um, they are cool shirts, good ideas, but they just don't fit that well. And I feel like it would be make people much happier if just this box was just collectibles. Like, everyone gets a shirt and pop in all of them, and I feel like they should make this one just collectibles. To di differentiate themselves from the other boxes, to make themselves different, and that would definitely make me happy, because I'm sick of shirts, and I'm sick of it taking up this whole box. Because that's why I said before, I'm like, never that excited for this box to come out, because I know, like, okay, I'm going to get a shirt, and that's it. It's like, that's such a bummer, man. I want to get a couple things. So, I hope they hear that. I hope they hear, like, take a month off from shirt and pop. Like, don't do either of them. Do some mini pops, do some cool figures, do some collectibles. Just jam the box full of some cheaper collectibles. I think that would be great. So, that's my idea, that's my two cents, and that's my ramble. That's what I think they should do. And I might even go on there and, like, make a comment saying, like, hey, what up? Like, this is I'm giving good tips here. Maybe you should listen. But anyway... Overall, very pleased with this box. They did a very good job. I'm proud because the last few were crap. Uh, the last couple I was very displeased with. So, happy to see it coming back on the top. This will definitely be in like somewhere in the top five. I really liked it. And I hope you did too. So anyway, uh, my video is about to come out, cut off any second, so I'm going to end this. So, good box. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Tons more boxes to come. So many, so stay tuned. going to flow them out there. Love you all. Peace.